We are back here at the Study and Go Abroad Fair at the Metro Toronto Convention Centre on CIUT 89.5 FM. I'm uh, Melissa Rodway, and we have our first interview. Well, we had Katie earlier, Katie Idol, who runs the show here, but now we're getting into our exhibitors. So I have my first uh, client here, we'll say, Emma Harbrun. Did I get that right? (laughs) Harbrun. And Emma is from the Teasdale Law School in northeastern England. Did I get that right? That's right, yeah. Teesside Law School, yeah. Teesside Law School. So, Emma, tell us all about this program. Why are you here today to to promote this? Uh, So we're here to promote our uh, undergraduate law degree. Uh, So we offer a three-year undergraduate law degree at Teesside, which is called the LLB Honours. Okay. Um, and uh, Canadian students can come and study our degree in the UK, um, and that allows them to bypass the undergraduate degree that they have to do here in Canada. Um, so they come to the UK, study our law degree for three years, um, and then they can come back to Canada, um, do their it's sort of a slight conversion to study some areas of Canadian law, uh, and then they can go on to practice here as a, as a lawyer in Canada. So they would go immediately to the UK to do their undergrad. They don't yep. have to do any undergrad work no, here. No, no. So they would go from college yep. um, over to the UK, and they can study our undergraduate law degree in the UK, which which is ours is three years at wow. the moment. Yeah. Um, they can come into my fantastic uh, law clinic um, in their final year where they can work on real cases. So we offer free legal advice in our law clinic um, to members of our community who can't afford uh, legal representation. So they can come and um, have a go at doing some real life legal work in the UK. Um, and then they can come back to Canada. Um, they have to do some assessment in Canadian law um, and then they can st- uh, practice here in, in Canada. Oh, that is very interesting. And yeah. you yourself, you're a solicitor and you're a senior lecturer in legal practice. I am, yeah. yeah. So you know firsthand what kind of experience they're getting there. Yes, absolutely. So um, the benefit of, of I feel of having practiced for 15 years as a solicitor. Uh, so I'm a Teesside graduate myself. I did my law degree at Teesside. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've come full circle now. I work at Teesside. Um, the benefit of having um, practicing solicitors, uh, teaching and obviously working in the, the law clinic is that real life, that first hand experience. Uh, so when I'm teaching, I can uh, give real life examples, um, you know, really sort of make it tangible for the students. That is so cool. And this is an interesting program because the town itself, it's quite small, right? It is a small town, yeah, in the northeast of England. So um, we're between Leeds and Newcastle. Uh-huh. Uh, so, about, so we're about an hour north of Leeds um, and an hour south of Newcastle. Uh-huh. Uh, so a small town called Middlesbrough. Um, we've got about 150,000 uh, residents. So yeah, small town. I'm Middlesbrough born and bred. I've always lived in Middlesbrough. Um, <laughs> I'm like a stick of rock. If you break me in half, it'll say Middlesbrough for all the way through um, but yeah it, it's a great town uh, we, we've got some wonderful um, on our doorstep we've got the Yorkshire Dales we've got some wonderful scenery uh, got some you know it, it, it's, it's a lovely small knit community mm-hmm. at the university I think because we're not a really big university Um, in our law school we're able to really provide um, lots of support for the students we we become a bit of a family Um, that's what our students tend to say they really feel like they get to know us personally and they get a real sort of personal experience yes I was thinking that compared to say going to London where you're a bit swallowed up you're embraced by this small community absolutely yeah absolutely they say to us um, that they don't feel like they're just a number Uh um, that they're a real person and that you know they're they really matter when they come to us which is which is wonderful and do you have many Canadian students uh, I have a Canadian student at the moment who is it who's doing his final year uh, been chatting to him before I came um, to get first-hand knowledge of, uh, of what it's really like um, so he's currently doing his final year of the LLB um, he is doing the law clinic with me um, and he thinks it's great he's he's you know really complimentary of, of the program um, so I was chatting to him about what his plans were were um, so he's planning on coming back to Canada doing his conversion but he said it's so attractive to him because it cuts as I understand four years off um, the route to qualification as a lawyer here in Canada mm-hmm. and obviously it cuts an awful lot of the cost 
off yeah. as well, which is a big thing. And I think, too, having that experience from overseas looks very good on a resume. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I think because the, the legal systems are very similar in the UK and in Canada, we've got a common law legal system. Um, it, it's easily transferable. It uh, really gives you that, that, that grounding and that understanding. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think if someone had told me that I could cut four years off my route to qualification, um, it's a no-brainer, really, and you would absolutely do it. So, yeah. 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 And any other countries? countries participating in this? I mean, you have one Canadian. Is there anybody from anywhere else? We have lots of international students, ah. yeah, yeah, from all over the world. Um, we have Nigerian students um, that do our master's program, for example. Uh, we have students from Bangladesh that come on and do, uh, do our program. So we have a, a lot of international um, students. Yeah, we just need more students from Canada, which would be great. <laughs> How many students are in the program? Uh, at the moment, across the three years, uh, there will be around uh, 200 I think very yeah, good yeah across the three years so, that's a nice size yeah it is it's a lovely size I say it goes back to us being able to have this real close um, sort of family like yeah. uh, feeling to the to the school really um, and you know really offer that that extra support which I think when you're coming to study away from home even if you know overseas um, is even bigger but I think to have that level of support yes. um, is really important and what kind of services would a student receive? I mean, are there housing opportunities? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we've got a we've got a, a team of people who can help with housing, who can help with visas. Um, we pride ourselves on our uh, student support services. We have a whole building dedicated to supporting our students um, with everything from IT through to you know emotional well-being, mental health, all of those things. Um, so yeah, it, it's all in place, ready to support the students. Amazing. And before you go, what is Middlesbrough known for? Anything? Uh, Middlesbrough is known for something called the Parmesan. <laughs> oh, what's this? <laughs> or people call it a parmo in Middlesbrough. Uh, <laughs> it sounds disgusting. It's going to sound awful when I say it. It's breaded chicken with a white sauce and cheese on it um, but trust me it tastes amazing <laughs> sounds good to me okay well Emma thank you so much and people can find out more at Teesside Law School is there a website they yeah should it's uh, www.tees that's t-e-e-s dot a-c dot u-k perfect thank you so Thanks much so much Emma. for having me thank you enjoy your time thank in you. Toronto bye bye